Are you playing some Metropolis? <clears throat> have they got the uh, the Builder Plus thing happening yet? We have a Silent Run. Ooh, Heirloom. I, I like Heirloom. It's interesting to see what you can get. With a Hoarder, we're going to be collecting all the cards. And Night Terrors... Eh. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how we go. It's a mango. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> so we've already got... Um, we're one health away from... Thing. <clears throat> achievements don't work in that way. I'm really surprised. Like, Monster Train's one of the first games where achievements have worked in um, weird modes. Normally games, you have to play standard. Which I think is kind of... Unless the achievement is specifically for a weird mode, because you know, usually the extra runs make it way more like super achievable. Which is not really achieving, it's just <clears throat> it's almost like playing with cheats on. So it's cool when games actually have separate sets of achievements for weird modes. The run was mad. You got triple pain, triple regret, and made it. Well, you know, <clears throat> Chromo made the front high up on the front page again. If only we had some sort of command. I think it's called Chromo. Um, that might indicate how he does it. He, he better not be here. He'll get upset that I said that. So Monster Train has the achievements on the dailies for getting certain scores, which I mean it's something at least. Um, <clears throat> okay, we have Hoarder happening straight away. Who is the first boss? Slime boss. I think we just go as much as, as much as I want to take the Noxious Fumes. I'm going to take Quick Slash and grab the injury. Now we have three injuries. I'm not taking regrets. <clears throat> Too many regrets. Um, plus, that's a... Um, if it was cursed, maybe. Um, plus, that gives us points already. For health. Mr. Jaws Worm. Uh, Endless Agony would be a nice little bit of extra damage. Or an absolute butt ton of damage. Bring on Gremlin Knob. A casual <clears throat> 46 damage. Turn one. Can we get one of these? They don't do anything, do they? That's not bad. Let me take the neutralize though, right? Usually it doesn't matter in Horde which one you upgrade. That's why you want to get like Dig or uh, Lift. <clears throat> do we let it go? This is a tough call because we don't have... Is that all the Endless Agonies in the first turn? Dang. Um, we don't have a good way to block upcoming turns. Let me neutralized. Maybe we just do this and tip this one up. <clears throat> oh, man. <clears throat> it sucked that that was on top.
Best case scenario, we can draw into a block. I don't think we win either. So we're taking damage no matter what here. Yeah, best case scenario, we draw into a block and we play both of them. I should probably keep damage down. Just in case I have a bad... Or I could have done extra damage last turn and gone for a kill this turn. Potato, potato. Mummified hand, I'll bring on the powers. <clears throat> uh, not you. That's a tough skip, like especially with Horda, but... Slice was tempting there. Take, um... Wrist blades? Probs not. This is, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's rough. I think this is going to be on the back of the hoarder. Hank is really nice. <clears throat> Cloak and dagger. Upgrade a cloak and dagger. <laughs> Not that anything else matters. Uh, I'm gonna take fights. Cloak and dagger? Or dagger spray, I should say. Escape plan will work. I mean, it won't work, <clears throat> but we'll take it. Upgraded, like, I want to see, and I wonder if I take an upgraded after him. Oh, finishes with this? <clears throat> I could have had a finisher before. I wonder if we skip pauper and take the after image if it gets offered. Oh, just draw it, just draw it one time. One time. No. Need to draw the endless agonies with the finisher. And I don't think it's well laid plans. And uh, we could hold on to finisher. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay. And it's mummified handable, I guess.
I wonder if I should have held on to that. The finisher. Maybe. Or hold on to finisher for finisher. <clears throat> hold on to finisher for when we draw the end of the Agonies. Did you take the guy's bunny? <clears throat> you like bunnies? You don't have room for another bun? Like they're like this big. Like what's the problem? Remember how I didn't take the finisher? Oh, man. Feels didn't take finisher, man. Keep finisher. They need a lot of space to run around in. But you like when you get a second bunny, you don't need a second like a double the amount of space, they can share it, right? <clears throat> they fight. So you need double the space for a second but rabbit. Oh, if you haven't bonded them. Well, bond them, forehead. Okay, so this <laughs> this isn't going very well. <clears throat> you had two female mice that used to fight a lot. Yeah, okay, not Spain not being able to spay and neuter is a big deal. That's important. I went aggressive on this run. Spirix, did you go aggressive on this run? Because I didn't, it hasn't worked out very well. I mean, we full heal, right? So. I can't remember the time, last time I had a deck this aggressive and it still didn't beat the slime boss. Maybe use potions. I'm just going to take one of these. No pauper, no snack away. Take a billion curses. You went poison route? Okay. And that certainly did a thing. That's not takeable. Man, crown on a hoarder daily. <sighs> Being the only energy. Hey, crit. Thank you. 
I'll create secret POE pre-stream tomorrow. Tell everyone. Did you see the end of um, my Act 3? Were you here for that? I found damage. That's probably my cleanest Dominus um, attempt ever. Apart from the two times that I almost got instant. Was running out the pre. Oh, okay, so it, it, it occurs like before the stream. Even though it is on stream. No, see, all I had was Ark and Mines, and I wasn't very good at either of them. Uh, wow, wouldn't a Dead Branch be amazing or something? And I didn't have enough, I didn't have right good, like, my sockets are bad. I actually got to a point that I think I'm not killing enough stuff or not collecting enough loot, which is, you know, the opposite effect of how I normally play. Um... And then, yeah, things are looking very bad. I was like, I had Dominus and, and Labs to do. So I went to Labs first, thinking, I oh, know, I'll sort out my, my lack of damage problem again as Zaro. That's, that's where you want to do it. Um, and... Which was fine for the first two two as arrow fights because you don't have to do much damage and it was DPS was slow enough that I was able to kill off all the stuff like the three gargoyles and uh, and I had the kneeling statues the kneeling statues were a bit of a pain because we were running around forever and I had a ball lightning uh, so I was kind of casting both and then I'm like oh why don't I just put them both unsupported on the, on the same spell slinger and that fixed everything well, it fixed a little bit. It was still weak. Um, but then Nazaro decided to drop a 4 blue link. And then I got another 3 link with something and another 3 link and I got Wave of Conviction with Ball Lightning and Ark on their own spell slingers all supported. And went from 0 DPS to, I think it took like 5 seconds to kill Dominus. You know, obviously the time it takes to for him to like talk and muck around doesn't count, but... <clears throat> gain gold whenever you gain gold heal no I think we're fine let's just take that I can have some AOE whoa okay Would have actually taken um, <clears throat> uh, wrist blades in this deck, I think. Settle down. Hmm. 
I should have used a potion or something. Extreme use a potion. <clears throat> I don't think it matters anymore. Too late for potion now. Why? That's a reason to use a potion. Ah, oh, frick, Night Terrors. Ah, rude. Now I'm going to find another 60 points. I suppose strawberries f was more than enough anyway. So it just means, like, fruit juice doesn't do it. I um <clears throat> I approve. My name is Pans and I approve this message. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be thirty-six damage. And then that'll be seven. So it'll be forty-two damage. I think that guy down to forty two means I need to deal eleven. <clears throat> that guy I need to deal thirty six more than eleven. Let's just do this like this. Oh man. That does kind of suck. Hey Pans, play the correct card next time. Man, my head is already not in the game. We're like just starting the stream. My beast trolleys are gonna be pretty awful, I think. <laughs> I could have had could have had Horder on Masterful Stab. Infinite Blades. Huh. That is the worst. Um... Hang on, I'm just going to take everything. Not okay. This is the worst um, crown ever. Book. You can get. You can get book to book. Take every card, see how we end up. What could possibly go wrong? Some strength would be nice though. Well, oh, that's strength. Hey, Tita Veal, how you doing? I'm doing okay. But I'm really looking forward to Monster Train. Are you going to do some uh, Hell Rushes? You're doing decent? Maybe, probably. Maybe probably is okay.
If it works, okay. <laughs> I hope it does. Because Adam Sims is all ready to go as well. Have I seen the game Carrion? I have not. What's it about? Two D reverse horror. What's reverse horror? Is it where you have to scare other people? You're the baddie. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. Oops. Go pants. <clears throat> You're an amorphous thingy. Alright. Intrigued. Monster Blob Lovecraftian thing, pixel graphics. Interesting, okay. Get wrecked. Never didn't have it. <clears throat> Adrenaline, good. Hey! Alright, there it is. Let's take that. Man, remember when I didn't take accuracy? Maybe that was. Oh, it's time meter. Do we just. Do we save ourselves 10 minutes? Or okay, I'm going to play this probably as reckless as I can because <laughs> we're getting to Time Eater and we're just going to get dum dumpstered, so no point wasting time getting there, right? Hey, Balthus, how you doing? You become the horrific monstrosity of an abomination to scare people. That sounds great. I mean, wait. Does that sound great? Is that what we want to be doing? Too bad barbecue, mini barbecue, <laughs> just chicken wings in hot sauce plan. The weather is good. All day's problems are third world problems. Well, first world problems. That's a good position to be in, right? Just first world problems. <laughs> I'd be happy with a ninja relic about now. Any of them would be fine. You know, let's use this. Take some damage here, but we draw extra cards. I'm gonna put the extra poison on because that works for next turn. We don't get as much finisher damage, but we probably don't need it all. Nice. 
Huh, we can make shard available. We can just be like... Uh, uh, uh. That was 100 health. Oh man, that two, that that heal that we didn't need to thing. Shard run. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's drink that. Buy that. All we need is mind blast and run runs one. Or boot. I think boot would have run it. Oh, that's no longer... Is that why it's no longer a boss run? No, we got a second boss. Did I? I can't remember now. <laughs> you gonna sneak peek? Oh, they've got a free trial, do they? A sneak peek out. Okay. Sneak peek's becoming a thing. Uh, there's a video series on why, because it manipulates the Steam marketplace. hands seem strong. <laughs> Alright. Follow-up hands seem less strong. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Oh, really? Aww. Where's the finishing now? It's gonna be a new genre of fighting where you, where you as you fight, you get weaker and weaker. Oh, I see. Hey, that's kind of interesting. <clears throat> that sounds really. I mean, <clears throat> that sounds like it'll either the the combat would either be really one sided. Or the most boring thing to watch and play ever. Right? Because... <clears throat> if it's an uneven fight, someone gets off to a good enough start <clears throat> and just overcomes. Like, they just win, yeah? But if it's fairly even and both people can go back and forth, and then they get to the point where they're both hitting like a wet rag. I'm a backstabs. Never mind, Blast. <clears throat> oh, you, oh, I see. So you do it on a fight by fight basis. Interesting.
in real life. If you get in the first hit, you're likely to win one sided fight. I mean, if you're not a fighter, then probably, right? Or if you're not, like, monstrously overmatched. Because you, like, had some sort of, um, derp moment while you're out drinking and decided to take on the mountain. Yeah, uh, it's called Terminal. It allows your max HP by one every time you move uh, up a floor. Depends how they do, like, whatever the lobby system is <clears throat> they have for that. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do for this. Wraith form? You gotta, you gotta believe in your cards. <clears throat> I mean, we're not, we're missing the max five health bonus anyway, which is sad. So might as well rest and maybe beat. <clears throat> Idiot. But ultimately. This is... yeah. Yeah, hey, BG, definitely. And you put, like, heart into that as well, and then it gets even worse, right? <clears throat> yeah, Ascension 15, um, if you... There's a way you can disable heart from ever coming up again. Uh, unless you get a win with each of the characters in the same time you're opening it you're, with the game open. <clears throat> so you don't have to worry about um, the super elites on floors. And Ascension 15. That's pretty good. Some people do 10 as well, which is also okay. But I, I, thought 15, I felt 15 was the most balanced it had ever been. 
<laughs> potions, yeah. Potions have an expiration date. <clears throat> don't gi don't give them ideas. The game's still somewhat playable. got there. <clears throat> Had just enough hit points to do it. <clears throat> that was a 45. Not the best as hoarders, but <clears throat> we knew after the first act that it was downhill, so playing it out to, for speed was the best. And act the fact that it actually beat Time Eaters is somewhat of a miracle. <clears throat> yeah, that was a big stretch, which that's a tough call. I... <sighs> I think saying that that was a bad game design is is really super critical or over critical, but I th you know you could quite easily make an argument saying that it didn't need to go to a twenty, and you could quite easily argue that it that it did. I I, I don't think I don't think there's a right wrong there. I really didn't like the addition of heart, especially when they say they come out and they say, oh, but it's an optional boss. Well, it's not, because once you've unlocked it, you can't turn it off. If they put a toggle on the um, <clears throat> on the character select screen, what do we get? Sorry, 300 bosses, light speed, seven collectors, encyclopedia, and well fed. No perfect nothings. Um, because once you get a win with each of the three characters, you've unlocked uh, the super elite. And if you don't fight it in Act One, like if you say, "Okay, I've done the heart thing. I'm not interested anymore. I just want to play." up until the Act 3 boss, so I'm not going to collect keys. There's a Super Elite in every Act just waiting to ruin your pathing. And the only way you get that back is by starting a new save file. Uh, you can edit your save file, um, but what you have to do is you have to make it uh, read-only, which means it won't update other things. Uh, but it does mean that every time you open your game, or you can you know, open the save file every time and change the variables to say that you haven't had a win with Ironclad, Defect and Silent, and then it won't unlock Heart until you get a win with those three again. But if you're playing on A15 regularly and enjoying it, you're probably getting those wins, so you have to do it probably a bit more often. <clears throat> oh, you can't edit the save file on Xbox or PS4 or Switch, yeah. So that's an issue then, is that once you unlock it, you're stuck with um, those Super Elites being in the way. Um, is it nope? And some people are like, oh, it's not a big deal. It never, oh. Adam Sims, what's the command for the... I don't know. Eh, top 100. 